Pakistan has expressed concern over the United States' recent approval to sell NASAMS-2 to India. NASAMS is an abbreviation for National-Norwegian Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System. Aisha Faruqi, spokesperson of Ministry of Foreign Affairs, was quoted as saying by the Associated Press of Pakistan, the decision of U.S. will have serious impact on the stability of the region. The $1.867 billion sale was greenlighted by the U.S. earlier. With the IADWS, India plans to fortify its capital city, New Delhi, by erecting a multi-layered missile shield. The officials in the Indian Defense Ministry were quoted as saying by the Indian media in mid-2019, the networked system, capable of even shooting around buildings, will take care of 9-11-like and other close-in threats. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Pakistan is worried by India acquiring NASAMS-2 from the U.S. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. India is planning to have an integrated air defense weapon system IADWS, to protect the capital of India, New Delhi. The proposed multi-layer arrangement will consist of the following. 1. The outermost layer of the missile shield will consist of a two-tier ballistic missile defense BMD, system developed by India's state-run DRDO or Defense Research and Development Organization. The two-tiered BMD system consists of the PAD Prithi Air Defense, which will intercept missiles at exo-atmospheric altitudes of 50 to 80 kilometers or 31 to 50 miles, and the AAD Advanced Air Defense missile for an interception at endo-atmospheric altitudes of up to 30 kilometers or 19 miles. The BMD system uses the Swordfish radar. Swordfish is an Indian Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA, long range tracking radar specifically developed to track ballistic missiles. It can spot objects as small as a cricket ball, 3 inches in diameter, at ranges of up to 500 miles or 800 kilometers. As per reports, the process is going on to increase the range of radar to around 950 miles or 1,500 kilometers. 2. The middle layer will be the Russian-made S-400 system. S-400 Triumph is an anti-aircraft weapon system developed by Russia's Almaz Central Design Bureau in the 1990s as an upgrade of the S-300 family. It's been in service with the Russian Armed Forces since 2007. It's designed to defend against aircraft, including fifth-generation stealth fighters, bombers, AWACS, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. The radars of S-400 have a range of around 600 kilometers or around 370 miles. The main radar is complemented by target acquisition radars, some of which are touted to have the ability to detect stealth aircraft. S-400 deploys multiple missiles to cover its strike envelope and can hit targets at a range of up to 400 kilometers or 250 miles. India has inked a deal with Russia to get five regiments of S-400. The contract is worth 5.5 billion US dollars. The delivery is expected to commence by the end of this year. 3. The innermost layer of protection will be through NASAMS-2. We'll now check the capabilities of NASAMS-2. NASAMS is built by Raytheon Corporation and Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace. The Norwegian company Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace teamed up with Raytheon and initiated the NASAMS program as a cooperative effort for the Royal Norwegian Air Force. 
the network centric air defense system NASAMS, was declared fully operational capable in 1998 but had an initial operational capability as early as 1994 or 1995 the Royal Norwegian Air Force together with Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace conducted a midlife update of NASAMS called NASAMS 2 and the upgraded version was first handed over to Royal Norwegian Air Force in mid 2006 the major difference between the two versions is the use of link 16 on NASAMS 2 as well as a better ground radar full operational capability FOC was reached in 2007 A complete NASAMS-2 battery consists of 12 missile launchers LCHR, each one carrying six AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles, eight radars, AN-MPQ-64 Sentinel F-1 improved Sentinel X-band 3D radar, one fire control center CTOC, one electro-optical camera vehicle MSP-500, and one tactical control cell TCC vehicle. The mobile launcher can be deployed and remotely controlled up to 25 kilometers or around 15 and a half miles away from the fire control center. Each launcher can fire these six AMRAMs in seconds against six different targets, enabling multiple simultaneous engagements. Since 12 launchers are present with six missiles each, the system can target up to 72 targets simultaneously. The AN-MPQ-64 Sentinel is a 3D radar used to alert and cue short-range air defense shored weapons to the locations of hostile targets approaching their frontline forces. It's an X-band range-gated pulse Doppler radar system. The antenna uses phase frequency electronic scanning technologies, forming sharp 3D pencil beams covering large surveillance and track volume. The radar automatically acquires tracks, classifies, identifies and reports targets, including cruise missiles, unmanned aerial vehicles and both rotary and fixed-wing aircraft. It uses a high scan rate 30 RPM and operates at a range of 40 kilometers or 25 miles. The radar is designed with high resistance to electronic countermeasures ECM, mounted on a towed platform. It can be positioned remotely from the rest of the unit operate it autonomously and communicate with the fire direction center FDC via a wideband fiber optic link it can also distribute its data over SyncGars radio network the AMRAAM AIM-120 was developed and is best known as an air launched fire and forget missile deployed on the F-16 F and A-18 F-22 Eurofighter JAS-39 Gripen to name a few NASAMS uses the AIM 120 C 7. The AIM 120 C 7 development began in 1998 and included improvements in homing and greater range. AIM 120 C 7 incorporates an upgraded antenna, receiver, signal processor, and new software algorithms to counter new threats. The use of smaller system components created room for future growth. Mutually Assured Destruction MAD, is a doctrine of military strategy and national security policy in which a full-scale use of nuclear weapons by two or more opposing sides would cause the complete annihilation of both the attacker and the defender. It's based on the theory of deterrence, which holds that the threat of using strong weapons against the enemy prevents the enemy's use of those same weapons. The strategy is a form of Nash equilibrium in which, once armed, neither side has the incentive to initiate a conflict or to disarm. This balance will be disturbed if any country is able to field a fully functional missile defense system that can defend against the enemy's missile. So strong Indian missile defense will be detrimental to Pakistan's missile arsenal. NASAMS 2 deal will reinforce an ever-growing Indo-US defense partnership. The U.S. said that the proposed sale will support the foreign policy and national security of the United States by helping to strengthen the U.S.-Indian strategic relationship and to improve the security of a major defensive partner, which continues to be an important force for political stability, peace and economic progress in the Indo-Pacific and South Asia region.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.